Harrington Building dates back to 1938, named after the then governor, General Sir Charles Harrington, who laid the foundation stone for what was to be Gibraltar's first purpose-built public housing. An extra R got added to the name Harrington somewhere along the way, and the building's been refurbished in recent years. With the latest change, this plaque, marking the significance of the housing project to Gibraltar's social history. It's the result of a collaboration between the government and the Heritage Trust to commemorate where it all started for public housing on the rock. Basically, it's the first building built to house Gibraltarian civilians uh, pre-war uh, because of the situation in housing in Gibraltar was very, very poor in those days. People were living in housing that was slums, basically. Uh, and after a lot of pressure from uh, the then uh, city council, they got together with the uh, colonial government, which was the UK government running Gibraltar basically in those days, and uh, to try and find a way of solving the housing problem. And this was the first building built to house Gibraltarians, working class basically, yeah. The construction of the building was funded partly by the UK government and partly by Gibraltar City Council and came about after the Home Commission was set up to find a solution to the Rock's acute housing shortage. It's provided homes for Gibraltarians ever since. The building passed on from the then City Council to the Gibraltar government and it's part of the Gibraltar housing uh, stock at the moment. Um, one thing that we noticed when we were researching the, the project was that uh, uh, the building was bombed during the war. Or oh, it suffered bomb damage because a lot of bombs were dropped in the area where we are now because of the dockyard, proximity of the dockyard. And um, there is a photograph showing the building with some bomb damage. So it must have been quite strange really. I mean, the building must have been built by 1939, the start of the war and by 1940 it received bomb damage, uh, but it's still standing 78 years later. The Heritage Trust is keen to point out that it's interested in preserving buildings not only for their architectural and aesthetic qualities, but their socio-historical significance. Heritage is not only buildings, uh, and preservation of buildings, monuments, etc. is also our social history, our social heritage, which has to be preserved. Even our language, our cul uh, cooking and culinary uh, history and all that. Uh, so really, it's part and parcel. Uh, the, the Trust took this on board to, to uh, bring up the significance of the building and why it was built, because it was built on a sort of social problem that Gibraltar was facing at the time. Um, so therefore we feel that we have to try and keep that for future generations to appreciate. And, uh, yeah. As well as the commemoration of Harrington Building, the Trust is working on a series of school books on Gibraltar's history and heritage, covering topics including the Great Siege and the Phoenician era. It's all part of celebrating the rock's multifaceted history and society, with this plaque commemorating a concept that became a reality, the belief that everyone deserves a home.